everyone, so today's video is a super glam makeover featuring hair, makeup, and I even showed you my skincare to prep before I applied my makeup to make it go on uber flawless. Plus it makes you feel like a goddess, it makes you feel so pampered and amazing. <laughs> Treating yourself to an extra couple of steps before you apply your makeup is going to make the world of a difference. So I'm going to show you a couple of products I've been liking lately. So I've got fresh clean skin, I just had a shower before, don't mind me. I used the Manuka Dr. Epiclear Purifying Facial Scrub rub and this is perfect just to get all of that gunk off your face which makes your makeup application go on so much nicer. This makes my skin look so bright and it makes it feel so soft and it's really good for my skin as well because it's for blemish prone skin and like you know skin that has lots of imperfections which is me right now unfortunately. Also I know a big concern in skincare lately is plastic microbeads and exfoliators. This does not have plastic in it. I'll put more information about this particular exfoliator down below if you are interested. So that has been used in the shower already nice soft skin and now I'm going to be using a mask this particular mask is perfect for before makeup because it gives a kind of plumping effect to your skin it makes all of your skin look so much more radiant smooth plump as I said and this mask is clinically proven to work in only 10 minutes which is why it was perfect to show you in this video it's so good just to pop on before your makeup as I've already said but yeah 10 minutes is all you need so I'm setting my timer and I'm just gonna chill out for 10 minutes while it does its magic so feel free to have a little dance sesh sing some songs take some snapchats do your thing I'm trying to plan out what I'm gonna do with my makeup as well <laughs> while I wait by the way the mask I'm using is called the Manuka Doctor Epi Refine Illusion rapid lift face mask it's a little bit of a mouthful but it really does work like honestly once I took this off my face looked so good I kind of didn't even want to put on makeup but I still do because makeup is fun you know now that the 10 minutes is up I'm just taking a damp face cloth and wiping off all of that excess product and then I'm just letting my face kind of air dry so that is how my skin looks now let me know if you guys have tried any Manuka doctor face masks down below I'm a big fan of them Next up, I'm using this lip conditioning product. You may have seen me using it in videos before. I really like it. And then I'm using the Manuka Doctor Epi Refined CC Cream. This is SPF 20. I'm using this in place of my primer today because it gives a really nice glow to the skin. You can wear it alone if you prefer. It's just got a really nice light kind of tint to it. It's designed to work with all skin tones and it's meant to brighten and smooth the skin's appearance, which I definitely agree with. I'm just using one pump all over to slightly conceal any of my imperfections and conceal a little bit of the redness and that's how my skin looks. I'm obsessed. I am going to be using this product a lot. Let me tell you that. Look how good my skin looks. So here's a little before and after. That's just the skincare done. So now we're going to move on to the makeup. I'm beginning with a really thin layer of foundation. I don't need too much coverage because my skin already looks really nice and I'm going to use concealer to cover up any imperfections later on once I've done my eye makeup. So I'm using this Vilumia Aqua Foundation by Chanel in a flat top face brush by EXO Beauty. This just gives a really nice kind of sheer um, layer over my skin of coverage, you know. And I'm moving straight on to my eye makeup now. I'm using the Smashbox Lid Primer under my eyes to conceal, not to conceal, to prime for my concealer. And of course, on my eyelids to prime for my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to use a little bit of tape just to get a really crisp line on my eye makeup today. This eye makeup is so easy like so easy. I'm starting with an eyeliner. This one's by Colourpop and it's a bronze kind of color and it's super creamy so it's easy to blend and I'm kind of drawing that up to my crease or just under my crease and winging it out towards that tape and I'm using an angled eye brush by EXO Beauty and I'm just blending that all the way out and I'm going to layer it up a couple of times on both eyes until I've reached my desired opaqueness. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm like losing my train of thought right now. Next I'm taking this eyeshadow called Birkin by Anastasia Beverly Hills which is just a nice kind of neutral brown kind of colour and I'm using a blender brush and just buffing that into the crease and up towards that tape as well to create a winged out eyeshadow shape. And then I am taking the shade Wine by Anastasia Beverly Hills in an eyeshadow brush. It's slightly shimmery and this is going to go on top of where that eyeliner went. So all over the lid and kind of winging it out as well. Doesn't matter if it's a bit messy because we will be blending a lot. And then I'm taking an even darker eyeliner and doing it a little bit thinner this time than that first eyeliner because this is going to be like the, you know, eyeliner look. And then I'm taking Sienna in a pencil brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and Exo Beauty and blending that out. And I'm making it so it's super blended um, to the point where it kind of blends into that lid color. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going into the Shanique So BH Cosmetics palette with that light tangerine warm tone neutral color and putting that into the crease and using that to kind of blend out the other shades. Taking off the tape and then I'm going to run that same color I used to blend out the eyeliner underneath my eye as well. And then I'm using this nude stick cleanup pencil and I'm kind of running that underneath my eyebrow and softening out the top of that really harsh line that the tape created just so it looks a little bit neater. And then going back in with that BH Cosmetics Shanix O palette, I'm taking the matte and shimmery highlight shades and running those under my brow bone. I just mix them both together. Before finishing my eyes, I'm going to do some concealing on my face and just finish off the face makeup. So I'm starting with a concealer just under my eye area and blending that down in a triangular shape. And I'm also going to put some on my chin, on my nose, and on the center of my forehead. And then I'm using the Jewel Ended Petal Brush Concealer Brush by EXO Beauty, which, holy crap, this brush is incredible. Like, I don't usually go for petal brushes very often, but this one is so soft and just it makes your face look so flawless anyways I'm sorry um, I'm blending out all of those colors using the big side of the brush to blend out the bigger areas and then right under my eyeshadow I'm flipping the brush around and using the little concealer side just for some more precision And then on any areas I have breakouts and redness peeking through, I'm using some Sensual Skin Enhancer by Kevin Aquan just to cover those up. To set under my eyes, I'm using Well Rested by Bare Minerals. This is super brightening and it just gives a really nice glow to that area and brightens it up. And then I'm using a face powder. This is one by MAC called Studio Fix Powder, I think. And I'm just buffing that all over the rest of my face. Back to my eyes, I am using Chi Chi Taupe with my Eyebrow Groomer Brush by EXO Beauty and I'm going for quite thick, glamorous brows today. So, you know, you can just do your brows however you prefer. I did them a little bit thicker than normal. And then I am using some brush, brush, brow plumper, not brush plumper. Then I'm using that darker eyeliner on my waterline and tightline and some false lashes. These are EXO Beauty The Soulmate, so those are going on my top lashes, lash line, lashes, I don't know. And then I'm covering them with tons of mascara. I've been really liking this Marc Jacobs one. I'm using this really dark color from my palette just to cover the lash band a little bit and smoke out the lashes a little. Um, and then I am using that shimmery color on my inner corner just to finish off the entire eye look. Now to contour, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and a bronzer brush by XO Beauty and I'm going to chisel out those cheekbones as much as I possibly can. I also used a little bit on my nose and temples as well but I edited it out for some reason. And then I'm going to use blush, this is Captivating by Tarte, it is a beautiful colour and I love it with the red lips I'm going to wear. So I'm just applying that on the apples back to um, where my ear is I guess, like along my cheekbones slightly. And then to highlight my cheekbones I'm using Makeup revolutions highlighter palette and radiance and I'm using two colors and a clean bronzer brush and just popping that on my cheekbones tip of my nose above my lips you know the drill and then for the lips I'm using brick lip liner by Mac and lining my lips and filling them in And then going back in with my Shanae So palette, I'm using that red color with my lip detail brush right in the center of the lip. And then I'm going in with that darker, deep burgundy red and going on the outer corners just to create a really subtle, plump kind of ombre look to my lips. Blend that out and we are all done with the makeup. Here is some awkward posing for you. 
gotta love that awkward posing anyways now we are going to move on because this hairstyle is not making me feel very glamorous so I'm taking out that bun and then brushing my hair out and then I'm gonna be using a curling wand this one is by Numi it's just like a thick curling wand using some heat protectant of course making sure my hair is completely not free and then I'm kind of sectioning it off I'm doing like half the bottom layer first sectioning off at the back of my head and then I'm curling my hair towards my face all over and I just find that this effect is quite effortless but still a little bit messy but not in a bad way like just really effortless and pretty and I don't know I just really like the way it looks so you'll see how it turns out anyway make sure you use a little heat protectant glove as well because the tools get super hot and I've burnt myself so many times using hair tools please make sure you use a glove <laughs> and I like wearing curled hair when I want to feel pampered and glamorous because it's just something a little bit different for me you can totally just do whatever hairstyle you like when you want to feel glamorous but this is mine let me know down below what hairstyle makes you feel the most you know awesome <laughs> Once that's all done, I like to brush out the waves just to make them look a little bit less intense and make them kind of, I don't know, go a little bit more bouncy and messy. You can kind of like tossle your hair with your fingers and part it wherever you want. I did a couple of different parts so you could see how good it looks, you know, no matter what way you part it, whatever your preference is. So here's like a deep side part, but I decided to do like a center part. So I just used my finger to kind of separate my hair and then just played around with the curls with my fingers until I was happy with how they looked. So that's what I came up with. I think it's it's very glam and romantic but still a little bit messy and sexy like it's the perfect balance I hope you guys liked the little skincare segment I put at the beginning of the video it's so easy to forget skincare is an important component to like you know makeup applications so I thought it was a cool little addition and if you're wondering where you can purchase Manuka Doctor you can get it online at manukadoctor.co.nz otherwise I'll list some stores and stockists down below that you can find it in New Zealand and internationally as well Manuka Doctor does contain patented purified bee venom and certified Manuka honey and the entire range is dermatologically tested. It's a brand I've been liking a lot lately as you guys know especially if you watch my vlogs I really like their peel off mask which I might show you in another video if you like. So we have organized a little giveaway for you guys I'll write it all in the description below so make sure you check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this pampering makeover kind of video something a little bit slightly a little bit different <laughs> to normal I don't know. Leave your feedback down below I'd love to hear from you and I will talk to you guys again really really soon thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much thumbs up if you did enjoy it <laughs> bye once again thank you so much for watching i hope you gave it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it if you haven't seen the two videos linked on the screen feel free to click the screen now or find the links down in the down bar the one on the left is an announcement on my new makeup palette and the one on the right is a special effects creepy zombie look i hope you like them